So I have been looking for a Figma alternative, an AI tool that can actually generate UX designs just like Figma, but completely using generative AI. Now Figma is just like an amazing mind blowing tool when it comes to like UI UX designs. Of course, Figma is used by every single UI UX designer out there to create some high quality next level UI UX designs for both mobile apps designs and web apps designs. But the problem is these days the vibe coders and the but the problem is these days the generation of vibe coders they just don't want to like build something from scratch they just don't want to like do anything by themselves they're just like looking for ai tools where they can simply just give an input and then it can generate an entire user interface for them so there are some plugins in figma that we can use actually to generate ui user interfaces using ai but the only problem is the experience is not that much user friendly because for most of the non-technical people and especially for vibe coders it is not very user friendly and of course there is a lot of manual work involved so that's why people actually need an experience something like bolt.new something like lovable.dev where you can just simply give a text input and then it can actually generate complete user interface complete ui ux designs so i just found this tool it's called subframe this tool can actually generate like ui ux designs based on simple text input and it's very user friendly this video is not sponsored by subframe i just like found this tool and i used it in a couple of projects so that's why I'm just sharing it with you. This video is definitely not sponsored by any of these companies. If you see the overall interface in subframe is very similar to Figma. We'll actually try that in a second. So there are plenty of these different templates as well that you can just like choose any of these templates and then you can just further customize these templates as per your needs. But what we're going to do, we're going to actually generate something from scratch. So to start using this tool, it is free to start. We can just like go to the pricing section and you can see you can create one project for free and up to generate like three pages for free i will not recommend you buying their pro plan before you try this free plan so let's just go ahead and sign up and try this tool and try their free plan so to start using this tool you can simply just click on the start for free and after that you can simply just continue with google just log in using your google account now as soon as you sign up so this is the playground that it actually shows you so the first thing is start with your theme so it will just ask you to like choose a theme and then you can just like of course you can change that later so this is your first project basically so you can just like quickly choose a style so maybe something like chat gp so if you like any of these styles from here maybe something like airbnb something like google or maybe something like stripe or maybe versal or maybe soundcloud or maybe visual studio so you can just like choose any of these like select any of these themes from here and after that you can then like customize like give it a certain custom color so this is just like right now trying to understand what sort of design do you want and what sort of color combination do you want for your design so you can see if i just choose this airbnb style and you can see this is the current version is the lighter version if i just like click on the stock version and this is the dark version similarly let's suppose if i just like choose maybe this spotify design this is the lighter version this is the dark version so i think spotify is better comparatively as compared to airbnb so let's just go ahead with this simply just click on next after that what it will do it will just ask you choose your navigation so let's suppose uh, like your dashboard design because that's what it is focused on right now so in, inside this dashboard design you can see the side navigation what sort of side nav navigation do you want so maybe you can like try something like this which is very simple very basic with these different basic simple small icons or you can just like sidebar collapse so as soon as you hover over this sidebar only then it will actually show you uh, the full complete text or maybe something like this or maybe something like this this is like kind of chat gpt style kind of sidebar or maybe something like this this is comparatively better it has icons it has like this text as well and then it has like this second different section as well so you just like choose any of these styles from here i think i'll just go with this style because this style has like this section and then it has like this section and also it is showing the icons with the text as well after that you can simply just click on next and from here now you can actually just like create a new page so to create a new page you can either explain okay what sort of design do you want or maybe just like but you can choose any of these existing pages from here so let's suppose if you want to build this sign up or like page so we can easily explain that in here and then actually it can like generate a page for us let's do that later on but let's just choose like any of these built-in like pre-made ready-made templates from here so this is 
very nice looking sign up authentication page we can just choose any of this and now we can just like customize it as you want so i can simply just like choose one of these sections i can drag and drop it in here and i can just like easily add that in there so now we can see i have just simply customized it a little bit i can now just change further settings but you can see this is a complete figma kind of user experience and i can just like further customize this as i want so once your customization is done now you can simply just like preview these changing and these customizations but that's not the most exciting part the most exciting part is if you just click on this code section in here so just if you just like click on that from here you can see this is the complete react code which is like fully ready now you can just like install this like command inside your project if you're building like an xs project or react project so you can just like simply install this component in there and then after that you can just like copy this uh, page so it will install all of the required dependencies all of the required packages which are which are actually required so first we can actually initialize this subframe project by running this command after that you can simply just like sync all of the components in the page so maybe like it is importing some of these components from here from a certain npm packages so you can simply just like install all of those packages by running this command so this command is a custom command right now it has added all of the packages which are required to display this page in this design and after that there is this uh, page uh, as well so this is the complete page code then you can just like place that in any component folder or maybe just like create a new folder and then add this file or maybe like just use it as a react code after that what you can do you can simply just export that into cursor if you don't want to like bother with like manually installing all of these packages by yourself what you can do you can simply just click on this export to cursor so from here you can just simply generate setup prompt so you can simply just click on this button and after that just like open a new folder inside cursor and then after that what you can do you can simply just like copy this prompt in here and then after that you can just provide that prompt to your cursor agent so inside this cursor agent you can just press enter and now cursor agent will actually understand what you are actually building after that you can copy this prompt inside your cursor agent so what it will do it will actually copy all of the code all of the page code so you won't have to manually add this react code inside cursor inside like your project it will it can do that for you so let's suppose if you're wipe coding so it is like very simple and easy for you to just like copy this prompt from here and then paste that inside cursor agent and then cursor will set up everything similarly you can just like add that inside bolt and then you can add that inside replet as well so it can actually generate a prompt for bolt and of course it can generate a prompt for replet as well so anything that you generated in here it will just like copy paste that as it is using these pre-made prompts so anything if you change anything in here it will update that inside prompt as well so this is how easy and simple it is now let's just try to like create something from scratch so like maybe like just let's just generate a new page from scratch so what i can do i can simply just click on this new page and from here i can just explain what i want in my page in here i can actually provide a figma a link as well to import a design from figma or i can simply just like click on this remix design and then i can like remix any of these existing art designs from here this is the sign up page so i can just like like choose this as a input and then i can just ask to like create a new version of this existing page or i can just like add an image in here but what i'll do i'll simply just let's suppose click on this workflow dashboard i'll simply just click on this so workflow dashboard visual overview of all of the workflow and or maybe like i can just have this workflow detail page maybe report summary page so let's just go with this workflow dashboard and from here i can simply just press enter now this is just like going to work as something like bold.new something like loveable.dev and it is like going to now generate a design for me but that design is not just going to be a code but also it is going to like preview the complete figma style design in here where i can like customize actually customize every single component by myself i can change anything that i want i can just like have a proper figma experience so this is like using ai to generate these new like designs but it is very much customizable just like figma and once you're like done finalizing your page after that you can simply just go to code section and then import that page inside your project all right so right now you can see it has created these four different versions of our dashboard if i just click on this first one so this is how it is looking like it, it, it has created these different sections in here if i just click on this version this version has like all of these different sections in this dashboard then there's this version as well so based on my requirements if i want to like just like any certain section in here i can just like ask 
ask it to create any certain section based on my particular requirements i can just like click on this ask follow up and then it can just like generate a new version of any of these different designs so let's suppose i like this one so what i'll do i'll simply just click on this save as a new page and after that it will save this new creation as a new page and then after that i can just like choose that access that inside my pages section so right now we have just reached our pages limit but this is maximum what we can do in the free plan uh just like explore it i think so far it's uh it's not bad uh you still have like control to customize any of these sections by yourself so yeah this is like a good tool for creating complete ui ux designs for your project should you upgrade to paid plan i'm not sure if you think you can actually create something good using this tool yeah sure go ahead buy the paid plan otherwise just i think just have give it a try test it and let me know in comment section what you think about this tool i see you next video bye bye